So, you've clicked on this video to learn how to do elastic suspension. Well, you're in luck, because I know exactly how to do that. So, let's just get started. Well, we got something. So, I'm going to go ahead and assume from here that um, you already know you have a basics of the tools that we're going to use in this video, which is precision alignment and a couple of other things in there, like some ball sockets and stuff, simple stuff like that. Um... If you don't know how to do that, if you just follow along, you should be able to get the hang of it. But um, to get started, um, you need to have S props, or you can use other props, but uh, S props is good for just building stuff like this. I'm going to go ahead and grab a plate 66. Um, let's do a 66 by 192. Yeah, that should, that should be fine. Alright, so now we've got our, our base plate, our chassis. Um, gonna go into transportation i'm gonna grab wheel size 30. now you can have any size you want any size base plate you want it doesn't matter um as long as it's just what you want to do whatever fits your build um i'm gonna go ahead and use duplicator and just copy and paste that four times you could do that actually you could do that um or you could just have one and use um use PA to mirror it over. I'll show you how to do that actually, because mirroring is very useful if you don't know how to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put point one on my base plate, point two on my wheel there. I'm gonna move empty. And then you can see our wheel is, well, on the corner of our base plate, which that's good. That's what we want. Um, I'm gonna show you another tip, a way that I move my wheels to the center of my base plate a little bit, is I like to grab a plate I like to put point 0.1 and then point 0.2 there. By the way, I'm putting point 0.2 by holding shift just in case if you um, if you didn't know how to do that. Hold shift and then left click. I'm going to go ahead and move my wheel in about that much. That should be fine. I'm going to go ahead and remove that plate. I'm going to go to plane. Pl uh, excuse me. I'm going to go to plane, hit pose, hit normal. Click on the middle of my base plate. I'm going to click on a wall now. And that's with plane hit normal. Right click the wheel, go to rotation functions, mirror across plane, point one, or um, plane one, my bad. And then hold shift, and then press rotate entity. And now we have a wheel on each side on the front. This is gonna be the front, I guess. Also, real quick, um, make sure you're building north on the map, which I am not. So I'll show you how to fix that in a second if you're not building north. Um, if you don't know what north is, you can grab, let's see, you can grab the paint tool, you can go to um, smile, and then whatever way the um, the smile is pointing, I guess, that is north. So you can see my, um, my spray here, when I press T, the top of the spray is pointing towards north, so. Um, so that is how you check if you're building north or not. So I'm going to go ahead and click on a wall over there to um, change the, the angle of the mirror and then do the same thing hold shift rotate entity and then hold shift to rotate entity there we go so now we have all four wheels we can go ahead and delete the um the uh, the mirror point so i'm going to go ahead and duplicate this and then just flip it 180 well 180 90 degrees my bad and i'm just going to like kind of undo everything i did real quick there we go. So now we're building north. That's good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and disable collisions on my base plate. So I just hold C, right click, and then disable collisions. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab the make spherical tool. You're going to want to just left click on your wheels so they're spherical and they roll nicely when you make your suspension. You're going to go to precision alignment, mass center. Put point 0.1 and point 0.2 inside of one wheel. 0.3.4 on the other one and 5.6 on this one 0.7.8 on this one so you have two points per wheel so you're going to want to right click your base plate hold q press 2.2 .2, click attach 0.4 attach 0.6 attach 0.8 attach so basically every second point you want to attach to your base plate so what that's doing is you have two points in the middle of your wheel and you're basically attaching the second point to the base plate so that when you make your suspension, it makes the suspension work. Freaking punch. 
Um, go to constraints now, go to elastic. So a good base setting for suspension, I'm going to go with spring constant 20,000. Then I'm going to do dampening. Let's just do 18,000. Or my bad. Um, yeah, uh, 1800. Ah, my bad. <laughs> and then relative dampening four, and then width you can do one. I just do zero because it makes the uh, elastics invisible. Make sure un or make sure to untick um, stretch only. And then so on here, do point one on pose one, and then do point two on pose two. And then click create constraint, and then three and four create constraint. 5, 6, create constraint, 7, 8, and then create constraint. So now you can get out of the R menu. That's how you open that, by the way. I didn't, I forgot to mention, just press R. Um, you can delete your points now. Right click on the ground to unselect your base plate. And then from there, what you can do is grab the weight tool. Uh, let's go with 350 for the base plate. So that should be good. Now to duplicate, just um, hold shift right click and then right click that's the area copy and then paste it down and see if your suspension works so you, you can see it works but it is very jiggly and that's because we forgot one very um useful step or very yeah um you're going to want to grab a rope slider tool and then you got to make sure you actually have this tool downloaded i think it's a separate tool but um do width, zero, length, go all the way. Rope count, do three. Center, do one. And then check mark both of these. So at that point, what you're going to want to do is press the top of your base plate, the wheel, the top of the base plate. You have to do it for all four wheels. So base plate, wheel, base plate. And then do the same thing for these ones. And then that's done. And now you can see if we duplicate it again our suspension it works nice but now you can see our wheels are doing some weird rolling things that's because we don't have ball sockets yet so i'm going to um grab an e2 real quick gotta wait for that to load it's called car ass it's made by my friend darky i'm gonna leave it in the description in a um a um, paste bin or whatever it's called, I can't remember. What I like to do for my um, for all my E2s on my cars is I like to grab um, a plate super thin. I like to grab the 18 by 22, or I mean 18 by 24. And then um, when I put down the E2 there, and then you have to grab two of these plates. It doesn't have to be these plates, but um, it could just be any plate, whatever prop you want, really. I like to do these just because it's clean. I'll just put them like that for now. So to wire this E2, it's very simple actually. Just wire base to your base plate, wire right to your right plate, and then wire left to your left plate, and then seat. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to actually grab the seat. I'm just going to grab this seat. You can grab any seat you want, whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave it there. So seat entity put that onto the seat obviously so now your e2 is wired up that's all that's it um so now for ball sockets i like to use the easy advanced ball socket tool it makes things a lot easier uh, make sure to do a x z lock so just check mark both of these here and then check mark all three of these so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to click your your um your front left wheel and then go to your left plate so you can see left to left, and then same thing here, except on the right. So right front wheel to your um, your right plate. And then there we go. That's pretty much done. One thing you can do to make your um, ball socket stronger so you can go faster on your cars without spaz is basically do the opposite of what you just did. So the plate to the wheel. And then same thing here. So it makes the ball sockets like pretty much double as strong. Not really double, but... It makes it a lot stronger. And then for the rear, all you need to do is just go from wheel to base plate, base plate to wheel. And then base plate to wheel, wheel to base plate. Same thing. And then I'm just going to kind of slap my my seat on my base plate somewhere. 
just kind of like that. Good enough. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then go to multi parent. Make sure to only check mark these two. And then um, left click. And then right click on your base plate. So now your seat is attached to your base plate. And now if you duplicate this, make sure to area copy or you won't get your, um, your plates and your E2s here. So now you can see you have fully working suspension. And if you get in, you can also turn too. So um, I'm probably going to do another tutorial on how to do ACF. So like um, engines and things to make your cars actually drive, of course. But for now, that is pretty much it. You have fully working, nice, soft suspension. And um, one more thing I want to do real quick. There is a tool called Realastic. Basically, what this does is you can adjust your suspension without redoing your elastics. So let me show you. Uh, constant. So these, this is basically the same settings that you had earlier in PA, except you can just do it here. So like, let's do constant 25,000. Let's make it a little stiffer. Uh, I'm going to do dampening 2000 and then relative dampening, just leave that four again. And then you can click on your base plate or you can do separate wheels too. So you can do like your rear wheels, make them stiffer than your front ones. So I just clicked on my base plate. Let's uh, duplicate this, Let's respawn it. And now the suspension is stiffer. So like if you're making a heavier vehicle or whatever, you can make your suspension stiffer depending on how heavy your vehicle is, obviously. And then, um, if you're like really making heavy vehicles, what you can do is you can double elastics. So basically put two elastics per wheel. But, uh, yeah, for now, that is pretty much it. You have your fully working suspension and I'm going to be making another tutorial on how to do solid axle suspension too, because that is very neat for doing like rock crawlers and monster trucks and things like that. So yeah, that officially ends this tour, this tutorial. Um, we have fully working suspension. It functions as suspension should. And yeah, if you enjoyed this tutorial, if it was helpful to you, please leave a like down so, and subscribe because why not? It's free, you know, and it helps me out too. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.